Hello, this is Jeff Ryle from G4 Geomatic Resources in Houston. Today we're going to do a quick video on a Leica CS20, how to edit and set up a work style. Um, first step is we're going to go over the basic settings. The work style will pull all these settings in automatically, which is very handy, so it's important to set it up up first. Then we'll edit that work style that's going to be used for GS, GPS, and a, and a robotic total station. Then we'll take a look at the uh, hotkeys and the favorites just to review what we recommend. Let me pull the simulator up. Here's a simulator. We have a job created. The first thing I do is come over here. If you're starting from scratch, what we could do is load an existing work style and edit it. To do that, you hit Settings, Tools, Transfer Objects, and we pick Work Style. Let's say it's your USB stick. The work style would have to be copied to the config subdirectory, and we could transfer it over and edit that. Um, if you're starting from scratch, um, the first thing we do is interface your, your GPS unit and your total station. And it's important to do this even with an existing work style. So we hit Settings, Connections, TS Connection Wizard. In this case, let's assume it's a TS-16. We want the long-range Bluetooth, hit Next. Then we'll search. You pair it up and hold that set in the work style. The same with the GPS. We'll back it out, hit GS Connections, and then we'll pick the sensor that we want to use. In this case, a GS18, Bluetooth or YLAN, hit next and pair it up. Okay. Real quickly, if I hit function instrument, right now we're using both GS and TS because we're going to set a work style up to incorporate both of those. So what's neat if we're in the field, it will then just pick. If you have GS only, it'll pick GS settings. TS only will pick the TS settings. And that's important. Uh, we don't want to leave it on GS and TS unless you're using smart pole. So the guys in the field, once it's set up, we'll hit function instrument again and hit GS and TS once it's configured. Another important thing is if you're starting from scratch or if it's brand new, hit your design job, make sure this box is checked, hit function settings, and make sure this box choose design job is checked. This is important because every time we go to state points, it'll prompt me for what job want to stake out from if that box not is not checked you'd have to manually scroll over here every time and pick your design job we'll quickly check we've got a job here we'll click if you're starting from scratch we, we gotta say export ascii and i got a template down here configured if it's default it'd be east in northern so you want northern east in hit function settings and point id then you can change your settings here so you want northern east in height code and code info so configure that the same with import. So if you start from scratch, if you load a work style, these will be set up for you. If it's from scratch, just hit import data, ASCII, the same thing, function settings. And we'll say point ID, in this case, we hit the number. So three would be east in, select two for northern, heights four, codes five. Here's a template down here. So quickly, we'll take a look at the settings under the measure screen. I'll come in here. I'll hit Function Display. I'll uncheck this RTK base station so it doesn't distort my graphics. And under Points, I like to check the point code so I can see my point ID and point code at the same time. Another neat thing is I would check your settings under Stake Out. So once again, Function Settings. Oops, we'll select my job, then Function Settings. And I normally put a prefix. Of a thousand, check the box to do design code. And then under graphics, if it's GPS, we'll say facing north, in and out. The info screen, you can customize other details you want to see. Okay, direction, distance, that's pretty helpful. And that way, in stake out, the info screen will come up and it's just another tool to stake points out. The same with measure to line. We have to have a job selected, hit OK. I would hit function settings. And in this case, under info, I'll set up line name, line offset, cut fill, distance, change the station, point ID, target height, and code. So once again, if I'm staking a line, if I hit the info button, I can then scroll down and view this information as I'm staking a line to survey points in. So it's important to quickly configure all the screens that you want, and I'll pull in the work style. The same here, I've got the applications in the order I want, so that's under settings customization, app visibility. And you can see I can pick these apps and move them up or down. Okay, so that's really important. 
So once these are all done, we can then edit our uh, work style. Okay, so we'll hit settings, customization work style, and I've got a, a work style here called one IMAX. So we'll say edit. And I can almost create a copy. So once it's set up, I want to create one for near. I hit this button here and rename it, call it to near. Let's just edit that. So I'm running a robot. I'll select 360 for measure. That's my foresight. Set up as your back site. I got 30 mil. So if I was going to back site at 360, I can click on there. I hit new and create a 30 mil and put a negative 30 mil absolute constant if, if I have a 30 mil back site. So you can customize that. And I'll just do once and fast. I will do three seconds. A lot of times I'll say stop search. Because TS16, you could have a uh, cube search, but if there's heavy trees, this might be stop search might be an easier option. Uh, we'll put the temperature and pressure in, hit OK. And then this is for your offset. So we'll say reset up the storm and keep them at zero. Repeat measurements check. I check this and put it at 300. So that's one centimeter, 0.033. Well, to keep the lights off because we don't want to, we want to turn them on manually if they're needed, but we don't want them to default to be on. And if I'm running GPS, it depends what you've purchased. In this case, if I want GLONASS, Galileo, Baidu, I'll check that. Under Advanced, here's my cutoff angle. The multipath reduction is new with version 6.5, so check that. That'll improve tracking next to trees and reliability. Hit OK. Then we pick the GS18 pole. Our default antenna height, and then we want to check for tilt, automatically stop. For the GS18, I'll default to instantaneous, automatically store, and I can say I've got to be within whatever time I want horizontally to store that point. We'll put 800 of my foot. Okay, hit OK. Long GNSS, that's static. Let's avoid that. We'll turn that on when we're doing static. Hit OK. It defaults as GS01, TS01. So we want to change that. I'll click on here, hit F2 new, and I'll create a new template called number one. So that way my point ID would be one, two, three, four, five, and it'll come in automatically, and I can set that both for the total station and for the GPS. The rest of these defaults should be fine. We hit OK. Coding, if I'm doing like a code line work, I want to create, I want to select this create line work. If I'm doing my own points and codes, just change that to codes only. So this is, I think half the people do the line work, half don't. So whatever your preference is, I, I'll scroll down here. If I do at mandatory attributes, a lot of guys do, just put all those prompts. That'd be very helpful. Then we'll hit OK. The GS tab, we've got page one. I can edit page one and customize what we see on our survey screen. So I put antenna height, time at point, code, so I, if I wasn't doing like a coding, then this would be important to see my coding description. The like a line work, this would be on, on the, the coding page. We have time at point height, northern eastern. I always put the antenna height above the code. So if you're coding using your own code list, some, sometimes it's important to get this code below the antenna height to get out of the line of fire. So TS, we can do the same thing. We can edit, and I'll put angle right, target height, code, Elevation, horizontal distance, mode distance. These are the hotkeys. So once again, for GS, I'll have to say user app tools. So if I'm in survey or stakeout, instead of hitting function tools, F7 will go right in there to give you some other tools. F8 is to view your data, your points. Do line work. Um, I'll say user, F9 to be user begin line, F10 to be user begin three point. If you don't do line work, some guys will set this to like Kogo inverse and Kogo point in direction. Uh, for GPS, F11 will say start RTK stream. That's to dial into the network. And F12 is GS select closest point. So if I'm stake out, you can pick the closest point. You can also set these function keys. I haven't set these up, but that would be hidden function. F7 would be this, this hotkey here if you want more hotkeys. The favorites would be this star key here. So I have user load Working style, quality control, so I can pick on that seven point longer, current position. If I was using uh, GS18, I might be able to set, I recommend setting a uh, tilt on and off. Okay, and there we go. So I can just scroll down, and that's how I pick a, a hotkey.
So if I was doing a GS18, I could turn the tilt off, then change my time at the point for 45 seconds for a control point. Some guys like delete last measure and um, application grade coordinate system. I like uh, the export ASCII file. That's very helpful. Regional settings. And there's your hotkeys. So on the total station, the same thing. F7 user app tools, data view and edit, F8. Our line work commands are the same, F9, F10. Then I'll set F11, F12 for these two little arrow keys for my power search. Then we can arrow over to favorites. If you have a TS16 robotic filter learn is good when you're first set up. Uh, that way you can pick up any discrepancies. Uh, TS level bubble is handy. The TS horizontal vertical is a search routine. This TS measure any is, is for reflectless. So that's measure any surface. So that will target to reflectless. The lights, TS lights will allow you to turn the EGO lights on the red light pointer. TS toggle once and fast continuous. That's there. That will put you in tracking mode when you're in a uh, robotic. Okay. And um, once again, data export ASCII. That way you can just quickly export an ASCII file. Regional settings, you can change it feet to meters. There's your slope and your angles if you want uh, azimuth, angle right, or bearing. And there, there's your F9 hotkeys. So hit OK. Now it asks you, do you want prompts? Some clients like to have prompts. They can prompt every time for a point ID and 10 height code. Um, so you can have prompts turned off or on. In this case, we'll leave it off. Uh, if I'm running a TS16 image in, it'll prompt you for your, your camera settings. We hit OK. Here's our regional settings. This is the hotkeys. If I hit star, regional settings will pop up like this. So I got US feet, decimal places. How do I want to see my station? I can, I can change my station offset. And the area, so I can change that. I want to go from acres to square feet and volumes. The slope, the same thing. I can quickly, once again, hit star, regional settings. And I'll come up to see percentage, elevation, angle, or horizontal or vertical. And the angle, this is handy as well. If I prefer to work in bearings, I can click it here. And these will be the default settings. So if you work in bearings or azimuth, just set that to what you want. And we can just go through and change all these settings here. So you have Fahrenheit, hit OK. I'll have a prompt me to level the total station and enter the current temperature and pressure every time I boot, it up, boot up the uh, collector. So we'll hit OK. We'll use the touch screen. GS18 will be every 0.2 of a second. I turn off the animation, so it just runs here faster. So hit OK. And here's the average limits. So once again, we can set that to like 800s by 1600s. That means if you're averaging within that tolerance, then you should be OK. So hit OK, and that work style is stored. So if I'm in GPS mode, if I hit the star key, these are the hotkeys that came up. Work style, quality control, current position, tilt off, delete last point, export ASCII, and your regional settings. Once again, regional settings will go right back in. If I had, if I had uh, uh, work style for uh, IMAX and near, I can come in here and hit and change from one to the other. Right now, we just configured the settings. We'd have to go back in and then configure all the um, settings for network correction. That's in another video, but I just want to show you how to create a work style with all the settings and how it holds it. And then once again, let's take a quick look. So these are the hotkeys for your uh, GPS. Um, if, I, if I want to change to the total station mode, there's a couple ways I can do it. I can click on the battery and click on this change GSTS. And there we go. Then once again, hit the star key, the hotkeys come up here. So if it's TS-16, filter, learn. When we first set it up, I'll look for uh, any prisms or reflectivity. Check the level button. Current horizontal vertical. Um, if I shot some at a high inclination, I can click the vertical angle being 90. Turn back down and do power search. And then measure any surface. Once again, is uh, reflectless. Lights. If I want to turn the EGL lights on if I'm cutting line. That'll help out big time. And then star continuous measure would be tracking. If I hit that, notice how this icon changed. So that means we're in continuous. 
We hit this again, fast move, we got the bunny rabbit. So that's the single shot, continuous is tracking. And export ASCII, I can just quickly hit this, export the ASCII to an SD card once I finish my job. And once again, regional settings. If I forget my hotkeys, just go down here, take a look at your hotkeys, you can reconfigure everything. Once everything's configured, once again, it's really important, function, instrument. And then I can go back to TS only or GS only, okay? If this is good, um, I then hit settings, customization, work style. Then I can edit this work style, hit next and create a copy. And that's how I created the mirror. So once that is set up, I would go in, like in the other video, go to settings, connections, or the connections, and I configure all my CS internet connections for the uh, SIM card and all my settings to get on the uh, on the internet for RTK settings. That's done in another video, so we won't cover that right now. So this should conclude the video. It's just a quick one on how to change your settings and how to configure your work style to be used. So I hope you found that beneficial.